Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you the Savata horizontal pouches. Now I've got two of this size which I'll show you why I've got two and where I'll be putting them on the Yakri medium backpack and I've got the larger size. Now the smaller ones are one litre and the larger one is a three litre. Now, they're all identical, apart from the size. So, I'll grab one of the smaller ones and I'll show you one of these. Let's take that out, make it easier. Now, it's in the green, which will match my backpack. It's made out of a 1000D Cordura fabric. And as you can see we've got the molly webbing on the back so we can attach it to all the packs with the molly there's some molly straps i've got a stiffener at the end so that's about two two and a half inches in length so there's no velcro for it to just stick onto there's none of the press studs what you do is you thread it through your molly on the pouch on your pack and then it just tucks underneath into your molly webbing that's going across and even though it's, that took a bit to get it out so even though it was just tucked under hadn't we put through any of the webbing on here or the pack it still held on and like I said I'll show you where I'm putting this on my pack and I'll explain roughly why I'm putting it there and you'll be able to use it for a number of things not just what I'm using it for material like I said is 1000D Cordura uh, they say it's military grade and by the feels of it and all the rest of their stuff, I believe what they say, it is nice military grade material. Construction, it's very high quality. A lot of these you will get from, uh, I can get it, put it, some of the stores, some of the online stores, some of the, the local smaller um, outdoor stores. The quality isn't always the best. Now Savata make their own over in Swiss, uh, Finland in a place called Sumi. So they've got very high quality control. It's just, of all the bits I've got of the Savata, I haven't found a fault on any of them yet. So it's hopefully it will remain as yet and I'll never find it. On the bottom we've got a metal drain hole or your weep hole whatever you want to call it so if you do get water in your pouch it'll be able to run out the bottom here Cordura as most people know is a fairly waterproof material but Savata do say on their packs and everything that they do not seam seal the stitching so that is not 100% waterproof but it will take a substantial amount of time for the water to actually get through the stitching to the inside of the pouch. For general use on your pack, on your belt, I think most of your gear in there is going to stay really dry unless you get a torrential downpour and then I don't think that much will get in there. But don't put it under water, as you can see. Drain hole at the bottom, zip at the top, you are going to get water in at these two points. The zip, it has got a dust guard on it to protect it, as you can see there. And the zip brand, I don't know, to be honest. I, one thing I didn't see on the website when I checked it. Uh, no, it doesn't say on the cheat sheet down here, but they are really good quality. And then we've got these on either end of the zipper and what they're for is make it easier to do the zips up and then do by using them. You can hang your carabiner, have your cup hanging up there, your, your compass, anything small. Uh, but the stitching, if I can see on this is, I don't know if it's triple, uh, no, it looks like two and at the ends where they um, finished it off there's probably triple stitching on there 
those nice and strong which is something I do like now the inside turn it inside out to show you we have this rubberized plastic I say more, more of a rubberized coating which makes it even more waterproof and all the stitching the material on the inside it is all finished off really really good size wise for measurements let's get this back to the normal way top to bottom is 11 centimeters from which way you're looking at it right to left or left to right on me is 20 centimeters and it's five centimeters in depth now with pouches I've noticed uh, especially with Cordora these measurements are from when you get it but over time it just soften up a bit and it gives you a bit of give not a lot but a little bit which means you can store more things in now this is the second one I've got in here I have the DD super light tarp small which is a 2.8 by 1.5 in olive green and in here we've got four guy ropes four pegs in that pack <coughs> I've got some spare pegs I've got in here too and that just slides in there nice and easy with room to spare fold that cord in and done up nice but just pinch the pouch so you can see give it a squash down quarter the way down is empty and probably let's get from this end yeah probably well, a one six of it is empty there and we've also got room in the depth to allow more stuff to go into it too so not the biggest but it's ideal size for what I want to use it for and we're doing the videos when I'm out bushwalking I carry my camera gear in one of these and uh, sometimes I'll throw a poncho in the other side or in one this time of the year with it being summer here and today's temperature is if I remember it's about 34 degrees centigrade today so it's nice and warm out there so that'd be ideal for I don't know a bug nest with all your bits and bobs uh, a bit of food in there just to get easy access to anything you want your fire kits your water kit a very handy size and this is the three litre one and I've got in here is the DD super light 3x3 three three tart with the ridge line the guy ropes the pegs the whole lot in this three litre one and space wise we've probably got about what's that two and a quarter or just over a quarter and a third of space at this end we still got space at the top by about then off a quarter and we've still got room for it to expand out to if you look so it's big enough for what I need I could even throw a few more bits and bobs in there now where am I putting these in my pack now <clears throat> I know I mentioned I've got a tarp in there I'll just put that in there for show what I've got my main tarps in here and I'm going to be putting this one on top of the pack so when I get to where I'm going or where I'll be stopping I can just unzip the top take my tarp out and get that set up and at the same time keep the pack underneath it if it's raining to keep it dry or give me plenty of shade on the top of the Zavata Yakri we have the Molly Web in here so what I'll do is I'll quickly put this on and I'll show you how well it fits so there it is, that's the 3 litre one on top of the Yakri medium and as you can see let's put there, we've got something underneath <laughs> that's the perfect fit to go on there it matches you use all the webbing on top of the pack you use all the webbing on the pouch 
and it's nice and secure and it's going to be easy access and what I've done is put it on with a zip to go behind my head so if I do choose to put something in there I can just put my hand over unzip it and grab it out as I'm walking or put something back in there and zip it back up again if that's hanging from the tree I'm going to zip that that opens up far enough to get access fully to the actual pouch itself so that's the tarp on top and I've got like I said plenty of, plenty of room in there so if I wanted to go with a heavier tarp like your normal DDs or um, I don't know I've got a few up here but I think all my 3x3 three three tarps were sitting there nice and comfortable so it, I don't have to worry about it just being the super light tarp now I'll put the other two smaller pouches on the one litres and I'll show you where I've got them now these are actually going on the hip belts so give this a pull out and they're going to sit there now I only want them level with the top so it's not going to be catching my arm as I'm walking so there's one row of webbing on here and I'm going to be using four columns of that to attach the pouch so I'm just going to put it through bring it back through the pouch and then I'm going to double that back and put it back on itself same with that one double it back on itself and it's nice and securely fitted and I'll quickly put the other one on while I'm here and I'll show you how it sits whilst wearing so there you go they sit fairly far back and easy access to it so, oh, oh look, here we go one handed there we go and the top pouch is up here get my hand up there, cut the zip get right one out and then do the zip back up nice and easy so that's the Savato horizontal pouches that see one litre on my hip belt and my three litre on top of my backpack okay i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on subscribe and then click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and click the like button the thumbs up and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care.